Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going through most important Java collection framework interview questions. These are the type of questions that actually come in real interviews. We will talk about what the collection framework is, what main interfaces you should know and how iterator really works when you loop over data. So let's start the first question. Our first question is what is the collection framework in Java? The Java collection framework is a set of tools that helps us organize, store and manage groups of data easily. It includes various types of collections like lists, set and maps. In interviews when they ask this, they want to see if you understand that collections are not just one class. It is a proper framework with interfaces, classes and utility methods. You can also add that it gives ready-made data structures like list, set, queue and map. So we don't need to write our own implementation for every project. And because of the framework, we get common operations like add, remove, search, sort, iterate in the consistent way across different collection classes. So your answer should clearly mention three things. It is a unified architecture. It has interfaces and implementation and it helps us handle group of object in an effective way. If you say this much in a simple and clear way, this question is done. Now we move to our next question, which is what are the main interfaces of Java collection framework? Now the main part of Java collection frameworks are interfaces like collection, list, set, queue, map. Each one help manages data in a different way. Now let's understand this better. So because now let's understand this better because this is where many candidates give a half answer and lose the marks. So first one is collection. So collection is a root interface for most of the collection types. From collection, we get list, set and queue. Now list is used when you want an ordered collection and you are okay with the duplicate values. Talking about set, set is used when you want only unique element and you don't care about duplicate values. And the third one is queue. Queue is used when you want elements to be processed in a specific order. Usually FIFO style means first in first out like a task queue. And talking about map, map is slightly different. It does not extend the collection. Map store key and value pairs where keys are unique and each key maps to an exact one value. So in your answer, don't just throw names. Clearly say that collection is a root then list set queue comes from it. And then map is separate for key and value pairs. This gives a clean and complete interview answer. And before moving to our next question, I want to highlight that I have created an interview preparation kit just for you. So you can grab your copy from the description box. And trust me guys, those people who have taken this interview kit, they are saying that they are able to crack any interview within seven days. So you grab your copy now. Let's move to our third question. Can you explain how iterator works? within the Java collection framework. So if I talk about iterator, iterator is a tool in a collection framework that let you go through collection element one by one. This is a basic one line answer, but in interviews, they expect a little more. So iterator is used to traverse a collection without exposing the internal structure of that collection. You don't care whether it is an array list, link list, or you just use the iterator to move element by element. The common methods are has next, to check if there is another element then there is next method to get the next element and there is a remove method to remove the current element safely while iterating and this is very important because if you try to modify a collection directly in a normal for each loop you can easily get a concurrent modification exception but using remove method from the iterator this is the safest way to delete element while traversing also iterator only move in a one direction so if the interviewer asks about going backward you should mention list iterator which usually work for the list only but support both forwarding and backward transversal so when you explain iterator cover main three points it is used to traverse element one by one it hides the internal structure and it also provide has next and next method and remove method as well now let's move to our next question. How does a hash map ensure that there is no duplicates? So talking about hash set, hash set internally uses a hash map. When you add an element, it stores it as a key inside that internal hash map. Since hash map never allow duplicate keys, hash map automatically blocks duplicates. Let me explain this properly. When you call add method, Java checks the hash code of that value. It uses the hash to find that which bucket the element should go. Then inside that bucket, it uses equals method to confirm that element already exists or not. If equals methods returns true for that existing element in that bucket, the new one is rejected. That means hash code finds location equals verifies that value and together they protect the uniqueness. So the clean takeaway you can give in your interview 
the hash set uses hash code to find the bucket and equals to compare entry in the bucket also with hash map is working behind to keep keys unique now our next question is what happens when two keys have the same hash code in hash map so when the two keys have the same hash code in hash map this is called hash collision so in hash map buckets are stored in an array and when two keys generate the same hash code they go into the same bucket now here comes the important part many people miss so before java 8 the bucket stores collision in a linked list but after java 8 they enhance it after java 8 if the bucket list becomes big it changes into a balance tree for faster search so this is a very important point to mention because in java 8 features also it has been asked now we move to our next question which is how does lookup happens in this case so this is a follow-up question of the earlier question so if you need to answer this you can say that first java uses the hash value to reach the bucket inside that bucket it runs equals method for each entry in that bucket list or tree to find the correct key if equals method matches the value is returned if equals method never matches it means the key is not present even if the hash code was same so you explain in this order collection places both key in the same bucket then equals differentiate them and then java 8 may optimize storage using a tree if needed so now move to our next question which is what causes concurrent modification exception and how do you prevent it guys this is a very very important question in fact nowadays in many interviews they are asking this question so if you answer this you can say that this happens when one thread or loop updates our collection while another thread loop is iterating it at the same time for example removing or adding element directly from a list inside a for each loop because the for each loop uses iterator internally without calling its remove method now the question comes that how you can prevent this how you can prevent this so the thing is you can use iterators remove method when deleting uh, while you tra traverse the elements or in fact you can use the any concurrent safe collections like copy on write array list or concurrent hash map because these classes are built to handle changes safely while we use loops or threads so in interview don't just say only the error names say that trigger clearly that modifying the actual collection object during the traversal is an unsafe way then also provide the solution like a remove method from iterator or using the concurrent collection now this type of question is extremely important because in most interviews they ask this question and they want to check that if you know the thread safety on loop safety in java collection now let's go to our next question which is how does hash map work internally so this is a very common question and most of us should know how to answer this properly but if i need to answer that i would say that hash map stores data in bucket inside an array so when you use put method java will find the hash code of that key because uh, the put method you will use with the key and value pair so java find the hash code of that key then it uses hash function to find the number of the bucket basically the index number of the bucket so the thing is that bucket index is calculated from the key which we pass again there is an interesting thing before java 8 each bucket stores that collision as a linked list but after java 8 if the linked list grows big it converts that into a balance tree so if there are multiple collisions happening so this makes the lookup faster and when you call a get method with the passing the key the same bucket index is found using the hash then internally it uses bucket to find the exact key from the bucket so once equals method return true the value is returned so the real order is from the hash code it finds the bucket index and then it uses equals method to match if the key is matched then it returns the value so this answer is complete if you explain this flow clearly now moving to our next question which is what changes were made to hash map in java 8 this is also an extension of the earlier question so before java 8 hash map handles collision only using linked list but from java 8 long linked list buckets convert into a balance tree after a certain limit and because of this change the lookup time is drastically reduced another change is iteration order becomes safer and more predictable because the bucket improvement reduce the chain comparison cases but remember hash map is still not sorted by default java 8 optimized bucket not ordering don't say that sorting change say bucket storage change from list to tree for a large change now moving to our next question what is the time complexity of insertion deletion and retrieval in hash set and hash map so for insertion deletion and retrieval everest case is o1 and the worst case is on and the worst case only happen when rehashing happens or collision chains grows 
means many collisions are happening and if i talk about tree set and tree map those are different they use o log n but hash set and hash map are hash based so average is fast but is it it is not sorted so in an interview answer the only important part is being clear uh, if it is hash based then average time complexity is o1 and in worst case scenario o n and guys this is the same type of scenario based or tricky question i have also added in my interview preparation kit so if you are like preparing for the interview and you want to clear your interview very fast in many interviews you should go for this uh, interview preparation kit you can find the link in the description now let's move to our next question how does a concurrent hash map improves performance so the thing is in a normal map if, if many threads update the data at once the whole map can get logged which makes other wait so in, if you are using concurrent hash map it avoids this by splitting the map into multiple internal parts and each part can be logged independently this means if thread 1 updates the part a thread 2 can update the part b at the same time they don't block each other and this reduces the waiting time between threads and it still uses the equals to verify keys in that bucket if the collision happens but the difference is lock happens on the part not the on the full map so the practical summary is it improves performance by allowing parallel reads and parallel updates on a different internal section safely so i hope you got the answer now let's move to our next question which is what is the difference between iterator and list iterator so iterator moves only forward it works on list set and queue and it also provide methods like has next next and remove in if i talk about list iterator it extends the iterator but only allows for list but it moves forward and backward in both direction it can also update or insert while looping so it has methods like has previous previous add these type of methods so in real interview clarity is this use iterator when you just need forward loop or any collection and use list iterator when you must move back, back and forward and you also update the item while looping through a list and remember it is only used for the list only now we move to our next question how does a tree set sort object so the thing is tree set does not use hash table it stores element using a red black tree internally which is kind of a self balancing when you add an object java compare it with existing nodes using compare to method if the object implements comparable comparable has the compare to method if you pass a comparator while creating the set it uses the compare method instead as you can understand that comparable has that compare method the tree automatically balances itself while objects are inserted and because of the balanced tree structure operations like add remove and search runs in o log n so it provides the time complexity of o log n an important point to remember here is for sorting to work object must provide comparison logic either by comparable or comparator so this is very important point guys don't forget this now our next question is difference between tree map and hash map so if i talk about hash map hash map stores key and value pair in bucket inside an array and it uses hash code to find the bucket index also it gives the time complexity of o1 while using put and get method but it does not sort the key on the other hand if you are using tree map it also stores the key and value pair but internally it uses red black tree and it, and it uses the comparison logic to place the keys it does not use hashing as compared to hash map and that is why it sorts the key automatically also the time complexity here is o log which is less compared to hash map so in the real use hash map hash map is generally used when you need fast lookup and don't care about the sorting but if you want the sorting tree map is used now let's move to our next question what happens when you override equals but not hash code for an object key so this is a general question not collection specific but while explaining this uh, the answer you use hash code and hash hash batch collection and that is why i kept it inside the best questions and it is also a very important question so the thing is hash based collection first uses hash code to locate the bucket then it uses the equals method to check if the keys match or not if the hash code is not overridden java uses the default object class hash which is based on memory address if two objects are logically equal by equal method it might end up with a different bucket then hash map or hash set can't detect them as the same key or treat them as different keys and this break the uniqueness so that is why you need to give the clear rule in your interview that if equals is overridden for a key hash code must also be overridden and this will give the consistent behavior so coming to our next question which is how do you preserve insertion order in a set 
so the answer is very simple use linked hash set because it stores data using hash bucket like hash set but also keeps a linked list of insertion order internally so values are unique and an iteration order matches the order in which you added element so important point to remember is linked hash set means unique values and also insertion order is preserved so that is all from this video and also i created uh, a practical interview preparation kit earlier so it includes clean simple answer for collection interview questions and all other uh, type of question also it will help you to revise fast before your interview you can get it from the link in the description i will see you in the next video till then bye bye